right what we are going to be doing is creating color on a picture I already have the picture that I want to be colored saved so it's also on my clipboard so I just CTRL and V or you could right click and paste it really doesn't matter now the first thing that you want to do is click your fuzzy select tool zoom in a bit and select the area that you want to work on right now I'm going to be working on the sky go to your layers dialog right click new layer make sure transparency is checked and click OK now we're going to want to fill this with a sky color and I know that would be the obvious choice but the way we're going to do this it needs to be dark so we do that edit fill with foreground color alright now it looks kinda huh? right now that's okay go to Gaussian blur at minimum 5 I like 7 that's me and we go to screen and it's a very hazy blue like foggy almost so we go back to our image and we select the next color that we want or the next area that we want to work on and for me this will be the grass area and it doesn't matter if you select every last little bit in the grass that's really not important because the way we do this allows so much freedom so there we go oops all right right click new layer make sure transparency is checked and now we're going to make it a green so we're gonna choose this nice medium green again edit fill with foreground color filters repeat Gaussian blur and I know you're probably thinking hmm this we're going to set to hue and we're gonna set it around 50 just to give it that realistic color now we're going to work on the railroad tracks and to do this is really simple just get the inside of the tracks and don't worry about selecting it all right now you can go back later no problem and actually what we're going to do with the smudging there's no real reason to select it all now alright no stay I'm sorry I'm having to fix this toolbox it decided one more to be a butt there we go much better now we want this color remember new layer transparency we want this color to be a very deep brown and on this one we choose hue oops I forgot to fill there we go it's very light as you can see the major difference that you could tell right now would be at the very top but there is a faint color change that makes it deeper and more realistic so we go to the eraser mode when my computer stops pausing I hate it when it does this give it a moment it seems to want to pause every time I try to do this video hm. weird there we go we go to the eraser mode and we're going to make it a circle 10 because I can <laughs> and that's good it's good up there 
And now we use the lovely smudge tool. Or you can use that nice brown tool. Brown tool, brush tool, I'm sorry about that. Go back and select the green, make sure you're on the right layer. Fill in that little area right there. And if you want, you can make this smaller and fill in that area. Now, what we're going to do is take this C part, C looking color right there, erase it. Now, you'll want your blur tool, set the rate at 100 because you want this horizon right here to be as blurry as possible. It does wonders for making things look like they're fading into the distance. So, we've got that set. And it's slightly foggy looking. And there is your picture. And just for kicks, I'm going to go to the cloud brush that I have. First I have to find them. Ah, huzzah, they're right there. I'm going to the clouds, just to add them. Oops, we're going to need a new layer. Forgot about that. Hmm, that one's a little bit bold, isn't it? The brush is just an add-on. It really has nothing to do with the tutorial itself. Just because, quite frankly, I feel like it. <laughs> The good thing about these cloud brushes is that they are so very faint, it looks so real. At least to me it does. You see it's kind of cloudy in the distance. We're going to make this just a tiny bit grayer, just for effect, and there you go. You've got your colored image, and it's enhanced as well. I hope you enjoy, and I will give a link to the brushes in the description.